Hi guys, uh, I'll show you how you can create this type of animation with our VHS toolkit with only a few keyframes. As you can see, there is a play animation, forwarding, rewinding, pause animation, and uh, play again with the animated time code. All of this can be done with only five keyframes. And um, let me show you how, how I done it. Let's remove all keyframes. Okay, now the animation is play all the time. Uh, all you need to do to start is uh, drop a video here. The video is a little bit slowed down already. Uh, I've got it from Pexels, our partners. So you need to activate the timer map. It's a uh, control alt T. And uh, you can see the time code here. So once you animate the time code, all the layouts will automatically adjust. Let's say you want it to play for two seconds, um, create a keyframe, and then you want it to rewind back. Just add a keyframe, and the animation will appear automatically. You can see the rewind appeared and the distortion and the time code has gone uh, away so the once the time code reaches this keyframe the animation appears automatically and you see it's going back we can go a little bit further so you can see the difference there right and the same works for forwarding let's say you want to place uh, time at 4 seconds yep, like this sorry, it was a uh, fourth frame, not 4 seconds and you see the forward animation has appeared automatically as well and the same goes for pause. Let's say if you want to make pause, uh, just copy a keyframe and the pause will appear automatically. So yeah, uh, you can also go to our distortions and add as, as many as you want. If you unhide, you can see some, some of the distortions already in place. Uh, you can make the opacity bigger or combine multiple uh, distortions, multiple blending modes uh, to achieve the result you need. But otherwise, yeah, this is uh, like a toolkit inside of our VHS package as it's available in After Effects. And hopefully it will save you a bunch of headaches Let's say the client wanted to adjust, like move something back and forth. Now you don't need to play with a bunch of layers. You, you just have one control and you adjust like these two keyframes, maybe this one, this one, and that's it. I hope it was helpful and uh, let me know if you have any questions.